Hi, you're in the kitchen with Julia or Julia Cooks here and today I'm cooking a baked cod uh, fish recipe and before you, you see the spices I'm going to use in it. There's cumin, salt, uh, ground coriander, paprika, black pepper, parsley, olive oil, garlic, the cod, and olive oil, lemon, and butter. And here I have about a fourth cup or third cup of flour. I have the ground cumin, which is a no, no, ground uh, coriander, which is um, a teaspoon and a three quarter teaspoon of uh, sea salt. No, and actually I only use a fourth teaspoon because I never use too much salt. And here I have the cumin seeds, which is three quarter of a teaspoon and the Spanish sweet paprika, three quarter of a, of a teaspoon of that. And I have here about a half teaspoon of black pepper. And so we're gonna mix the flour together with the seasonings. Get that mixed well. Then we're going to take the cod, dip it in the liquid here, which again is olive oil, butter, and lemon juice, and then dip it into the flour mixture. And then we're going to put it in a cast iron skillet and let it cook just very quickly and then put it in a four the skillet and the cod in a 400 degree oven and let it finish cooking so uh, let's get okay busy. so I'm going to take my cod dip it in the liquid coat it really well dip it in the flour here in one second change hands here, coat it very well, all sides lightly, and then put it here while the oil heats up. And I'm going to continue to do that until all pieces are coated, and then we'll sear them really quick, and then um, put them in the oven. And if you hear that noise, those are the jets flying in for the 4th of July celebration in the District of Columbia. Alrighty, the baked cod is out of the oven. I have sprinkled a little parsley. I did not have fresh parsley, so I used dried parsley and I have lemon there. And next I'll transfer it to the platter or bowl where it will be served. Alrighty, here we go. I am dishing it up and I have some Lebanese rice here. Just rice cooked a little differently. I've added some vermicelli pasta to it and um, cooked it really well, quickly actually. And here we are. That looking delicious. And to that, I'll just add the lemon there. And then I will transfer this lovely dish over here where you can see it 